Does that mean it's doing it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and you guys just forget it. I'm going to try and forget it too. Just remind me to turn it off when I get it. All right, this is going to be lesson. Um, this is going to be lesson 44. This is on um, adding fractions. No big deal. We learned to add fractions a long time ago. We're going to do this with algebra. We're going to add, instead of adding 1 half plus 3 fourths, we're going to add A over B plus C over D. And we're going to need a common denominator on some of these and not a common denominator on others of these. First thing I want you to do on your practice paper is I want you to do number, um, add fractions with me that are just numbers, no variables, and I want you to do it in the format that I'm going to teach the algebra. So I want you to do it like I do it so that it will um, allow you to transition this into um, doing this with algebra, okay? So here we go. Um, this is, let's do um, 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5. How would I do this? Normally you would do this vertically. You would do it up and down like this. But we're going to do this horizontally because we want to do the algebra horizontal. What's the... What's the least common multiple? What's the common denominator here? 15. 15. Easy to do, right? So this is how we're going to do this with algebra. We're going to take and write this 15 up above here, and then we're going to cancel the 3 and the 15 to get the 5 and say 5 times 2 is 10. Do it again. We're going to cancel the 5 and the 15, get the 3. 3 times 4 is 12, and the answer is 27 15. Now that would, that would reduce and all that. But that's the format we want to use um, when we do this. All right, let's do one with algebra in it. Let's do um, a over 3x squared plus b over 3x squared. Observation. Raise your hand. Observation. Common denominator. It already has a common denominator. There's two types of problems in your homework. Some of them already have a common denominator. Some of them don't. If they already have a common denominator, these are easy, right? It should be 22. 22. Yes. Oh, sure. Want that to be 22? That'd be great. Okay. All right. Does this already have a common denominator? Yes. Has a common denominator? So how do you add fractions when you already have a common denominator? Add the numerator and... Keep the denominator, right? Yeah. Right, your same denominator? So what's the answer to this? A Say again? A plus, a plus B. A plus a plus B. We're going to add the numerator. This is going to be A plus B over 3x squared. So those are easy. Let's do one with a few more terms in it, okay? Let's do um, 5x minus 4 over 7x cubed minus 9 plus 2x minus 7 over 7x cubed minus 9. Common denominator still? Yes. 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 Am I going to keep the denominator? Yes. 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 I'm going to keep the denominator. 7x cubed minus 9. What am I going to do with the numerators? <coughs> Add them. So what do I have across the top? 5x yeah. plus 2x is 7x. Minus 4 plus a minus 7 is negative 11. Now, observation. If I change this right here to a negative, so it looks like that, do I still have 5x plus 2x? No, now I have 5x minus 2x, right? So what's that going to be? Then it would be 3x. And do I have minus 4 minus 7 anymore? I do not. So this is going to be 3x. It's minus 4 minus a minus 7. Minus 4 plus 7 is a plus 3. But it's still over 7x cubed minus 9. All right, those are the first kind that we're going to do with a common denominator. Here's the change the denominator to. It does not touch the denominator. Um, that is because um, if you have the fraction 3 fourths, um, I can say negative 3 over 4, I can say 3 over negative 4, or I could say negative 3 over 4, like negative 3 fourths. These all mean the same thing. 
but there's only one negative. Either the numerator's negative, the denominator's negative, or the fraction's negative, and I can move those around. So I can move this like this up to this negative three and then add, which is what we're doing. Okay, good question. All right, now, let's do this where we need a common denominator. Um, I want you to do this one on your paper. This is your, your um, review paper, your um, notes paper that you're gonna keep in your book so you can resource this. These next couple problems I'm gonna do, I want you to do these on paper so you can fold this in half, stick it in your book, and pull this out if you get stuck on your homework. All right, let's start with an easy one. A over B plus C over D <coughs> minus X over Y. All right, here we go. What do I need first? Common denominator. Right, we're going. What's the common denominator? Y'all know? Kendall, what's the common denominator? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, everybody. Wait a minute. What if this, here, let's erase this. Um, what if this was um, A over 2 plus B over 3 plus X over 5? Did you show the common denominators? Yeah. How did you get it? Multiplying them. You multiply them all together. Why did she multiply them all together? Because they're all prime. They don't divide into each other. And so the common denominator just becomes 2 times 3 times 5. Yes? Yeah. C. Now, raise your hand if you can tell me what the common denominator is. Figure it out? Yeah, see, now we all got that figured out. So, Sean, what's the common denominator? BDY. It's BDY. There we go. All right, now, step two. That's first step. Find the common denominator. Okay, I'm still in the middle of this. Okay, so first step, find a common denominator. Next step, B, D, Y. I'm going to write it up above each of these fractions. <coughs> write it up above every one of these fractions. Do this on your paper so you have a pattern to follow, so you can do this with me. All right. Now, up here, this is in three rows. This is what I'm working on. This is in three rows. I'm going to cancel the top one and the bottom one. The old denominator, the new denominator. I had a denominator of B. I'm changing it to BDY. I'm going to cancel these out. When I cancel these, it leaves it like that, and I'm going to multiply what's left of the top two. What is BY times A? A Sorry, D. DY times A is? ADY. Is ADY. There we go. And go to the next one. I'm going to cancel the bottom and the top and multiply what's left. What's left is B, C, Y. See, I'm B, Y, and C. I've canceled this. This is gone. I'm multiplying what's left. Minus, I'm going to cancel. And what do I have left? B, D, B, D, X. Done. That's the answer. Another example. Let's get down a little bit here. Five T over three Y minus four C squared over two Y squared plus seven X over Y cubed. First step. First step. Common denominator. Common denominator. Right, raise your hand if you can tell me what the common denominator is. And you did this on your homework last night or over the weekend. Find the least common multiple is 6y. How many agree? 6y. Oh, no friends. <laughs> Jill, is that a friend here? Willow, what do you think? Um, is it 6y to the 6th? 6y to the 6th. How many agree with Willow? Well, Willow's got some friends. No. Come on, girls, you going to stick with Willow or not? Okay. Anybody else? 
I got you, Willow. Harrison. Three plus three y squared. Three I mean, plus cubed. 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 What? Say it again. Three plus three y cubed. Uh, this is multiplication. There's no pluses in this at all. Oh, okay. uh, no pluses at all. But you didn't give us a chance to agree with us. Can't do a plus. Dominic. What? Well, you raised your hand. What's the answer? I'm sorry, Lily. What's the answer anyway? <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. We believe in you. Least no, common scared. multiple. What's the most number of times any factor occurs in any one denominator? What's the most number of times any factor occurs? You can do the three and the two, right? If I ask you what's the common denominator between three and two, is anybody going to say three? Yeah, probably. We're all going to say what? Six. 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 The only question is between the y, the y squared, and the y cubed. Y. How many say y? How many say y squared? How many say y cubed? How many say y to the six? What's the most number of times you have a y in any denominator? You have y, you have y squared, and y cubed. What's the biggest? Y cubed. That's it. You have y, y squared, and y cubed. What's the biggest? Y cubed. All right, this is 6y cubed. All right. Dominic. Now what am I going to do? Now what am I going to do? And don't say I don't know. What am I going to do? Um, what do I do up there? You put 6y cubed above. Five. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Here we go. 6y cubed. 6y cubed. 6y cubed. Now. What do I cancel, Amanda? <laughs> the top, the middle, the bottom. What am I going to cancel? There's three rows here. Uh, what do I cancel? <laughs> the top. With the middle. Bottom. Bottom. The bottom. The top and the bottom. Caitlin, what do I have when I cancel the top and the oh. bottom here? What cancels? What cancels? Y. One Y cancels, so I'm going to change this to Y squared. What else cancels? The 6 and the 3, and what's left is a 2. Now, multiply this all together. What do I have when I multiply it together, Lily? This one right here, what do I have? 10 t y squared. There we go. 10 t y squared. All right, the next one, what do I have when I cancel? What's going to cancel out of here? Two's gonna cancel with the six and leave me with a three. Two y's are gonna cancel, leave me with a y. Multiply this out, and this is negative twelve. C squared y. And do it again, cancel the y cubed, and what's left is 42x. Answer. take this practice paper and you keep that and lay it down and memorize the steps on this. Look at that. Find a common denominator. Write it above each fraction. Cancel the top and the bottom. Multiply what's left and you're done. Run those steps and do this. Okay, I want everybody doing the four practice problems right now. Ask questions if you get stuck. The first two already have a common denominator. The next two are going to need a common denominator.